papers to our BDPA um, e-groups uh, area. We take uh, members, professionals, entrepreneurs, uh, um, top level executives, um, anyone willing to give back to our students pro bono. Our sponsors come from um, all the major corporations. Uh, they help the YTC program in various ways. Uh, we've had a sponsorship for our registration. We have sponsors for our meals, uh, for flights, um, for activities throughout the week. And uh, we just can't do it without the sponsors that we have every year. And we thank you. 22nd year of the National BDPA High School Computer Competition. Oh, my goodness. 22nd year. That means there's only 21 chapters. There's only, there's only, there's less than 100 students in the history of BDPA that have been able to stand up and say they are the national champions of the BDPA high school computer competition. Well, this year my role is the National HSCC Coordinator, uh, so I am managing and getting the uh, competition room set up for all the teams to compete to do the oral and written competition and also the programming um, competition that they'll be um, given on Friday. The goal of the oral competition is to try to understand the students and the participants' understanding of certain aspects of computer programming. So, and the, as well as the history of BDPA. So questions were asked about different events that have taken place, some BTA, um, BDPA history to include like the founder, president. So it's just overall general knowledge. If you notice, this was actually a team event. So among other things, with, when you look at career endeavors, not only just your knowledge of computer programming terms, but also working as a team because they had to come up as a team and agree as a team that the answer they were going to provide was the correct one. I'm doing my master's and I major in computer science and I know one of the reasons why I went into computer science is what I got from high school. I enjoy playing with computers and I enjoy all the training I had before college and I guess this is what benefit them and they will come out in the long run with a lot of things to you know go after in re real life. I think the biggest gain is to watch the students using technology and learning technology. I, I really believe that tomorrow's technological innovative uh, innovation is going to come from today's talent. I'm here as an HP employee. I want the um, students to see that um, it is a lot of opportunities for them um, after they come out of high school or college. Um, I'm a young person so they can kind of relate and I'm actually still in college. I'm working on my doctorate degree, so I want to share that and tell them that they, can, that they can accomplish anything if they set their mind to it. Get through the moment that I'm sure all of you have been waiting for and uh, all of us in the room as well. The one comment that I'd like to make is that uh, someone came up and, and asked um, after we had deliberated um, how difficult was it and it really wasn't difficult at all because all of the participants had such excellent projects presentations uh, from their organizational to the topics that they chose to the way that they delivered it it was not difficult for us to decide the winner because we really didn't the computations on in the computer program that calculated the scores really did that. It was just that close, is what I'm trying to say. They were just such outstanding presentations that were presented today. <laughs>
we have had a great time working with these young people this year. We're looking forward to next year and the IT showcase being bigger and better. And we're also trying to get our young people involved in other major conferences, science and technology conferences. It actually uh, does my heart well. You know, when I see these young people, these sharp, uh, scholastic, hungry young people, it restores my faith in young black folks again. Today I'm um, actually presenting uh, creating an online career portfolio, helping the students uh, create an online career portfolio so that they can uh, aid, basically as an aid to their job search, uh, whether they're college search or job search. According to statistics, I'm supposed to either be in prison or dead, and many of you in this audience or around my age, you are too, by the way, supposed to be in prison or dead, but we're a contradiction of that. So we need to be thankful and continue to believe we can achieve anything we want to achieve in life. So my advice would be to realize it's amazing what you can accomplish when you don't know what you can't do yet. And I believe that's important. So believe in yourself and you can achieve anything in life. Well, I think one of the, the best opportunities within BDPA is to take um, an individual from the classroom to the boardroom. Uh, BDPA has a lot of mechanisms now that allows an individual to develop early on in their career in information technology associated with maybe a, a regular training session in individual chapter communities all the way to the HSCC which is the high school uh, computer competition moving through continually getting education with the conferences and then developing in yourself in the roles of taking a leadership role within the chapter and all of those things lead up to shaping an individual's capabilities of working within the boardroom in corporate America. I'm expanding my knowledge in the IT industry by networking with other IT professionals and learning more about what they do on a daily basis. Attending this conference is going to strengthen my abilities in the computer science area which I plan to major in at VCU uh, in Richmond, Virginia. Um, it's going to strengthen my abilities in this area because I'm competing in the HSCC competition. You have the, uh, the youth conference that